The rival is ready. Let's go shoot it. Uh-oh, guys. We ran into a big problem. Our Nerf rival completely exploded. Carter's arm is, like, probably broken. Okay, he needs to go hospital. I can tell by his pain level. Hello, good morning. Oh my gosh, that's awkward. What's going on guys? Welcome to the vlog. We have another day of construction and there is people just looking at us right now. This is so awkward. <laughs> he's so high above the ground. I'm concerned he's gonna like fall. There's two guys up there now. Other than those guys up there banging around, we're just kind of relaxing right now. Figuring out what we're gonna do in today's vlog. Carter, do you know what we're gonna do? I think we should do something with Nerf. Ooh, yes. Maybe, oh you know what? Guys, we're building this really cool Nerf cannon, so I think Let's do that today. Nerf video. Whoa, we got our entire bucket of Nerf darts out and you're shoving them in that cannon? What? What are you doing, Carter? Trying to figure out how to make a big mega Nerf shotgun. So with all these pieces here, we're currently working on putting together the world's biggest Nerf rival gun. So what we have is an air chamber, an air valve system. We also have our mega Nerf rival bullets. So check these out. We're going about to make a crazy gun with all that. Are those rival bullets? Are they darts? What do they call them? I don't know. What do they call them? Balls. <laughs> I don't know. Rival balls? Rival dirt, dart balls? I don't know. What do you guys call them? Comment below. Are they darts? Are they bullets? Or are they balls? I don't know. That's a good question. Orbs? Orbs. I don't know. I don't know. So this is going to be the body of the Nerf rival and this is going to be the barrel of the Nerf rival. Fits perfectly the super mega Nerf rival balls. So now we just need to go out to the garage to figure out how we can attach these two together. Hey Carter. What's up? So in order to make the Nerf rival, we need to cut this. Oh, I can do that. We need to figure out how to get this pipe into this connector. Doesn't fit right now, so we need to do something. So the method we're doing is we're just heating this plastic up a little bit to make it pliable. We're gonna slowly shrink it in like that, and then hopefully that'll be shrunk enough that we can stick the PVC pipe on over top. Try it, will it work? Will it work? I don't know. Please go on. It's so flimsy. We need a slice. Once we heated this up, it became super pliable, but there was no room for the material to squish together. So we're gonna remove a little bit so it can squish down to a smaller diameter and then it'll fit in that piece. We got two cuts in there. Now let's heat it up again and see if it fits in the plastic piece. It's all hot and super squishy. Let's see if we can fit it in. Will it fit? Please fit. Totally work. Yes! Now that the barrel is cut and working, it's time to glue the body of the gun together. We dismantled the gun so we can use the PVC primer and cement to glue it all together. PVC primer and cement smells really, really bad. So if you guys ever do this, wear like a mask or something. Purple primer, step one. Now that we got the purple primer on the pieces, it's time for the clear primer to make the chemical reaction work. Stick it on. Oh yeah, tight seal. Next part, ready to go. Push it on there. One of the most important steps is making sure this air valve gets securely glued on, so we gotta make sure we use a lot of purple primer for this one. Seal this one good, Carter. Oh yeah. Before we glue the next piece, we need to shorten this PVC pipe a little bit. Last piece to glue is the end cap. Nice. We also need to cut the barrel. Perfect. Woo. That should do it. Mega Rival is done being glued. Now we just gotta wait 10 to 15 minutes for the glue to dry. While we're waiting, Carter, let's whip out that rocket scooter. If you guys didn't see last vlog, this is the rocket scooter. When you when you light those rockets off, that thing flies. It was so scary. Oh! The question is though, Carter, can you do tricks on the rocket scooter? I don't think so, so I'm gonna take the rockets off first. Now the question is, can you even do tricks on a scooter? Oh yeah, of course I can do tricks. Oh yeah, let's see them. I'm a professional. Wheelie. Woo! Tail whip it. Go, go, go. Got it. Oh yeah. Oh. Nice. Oh. oh. Glue's dried. Now it's off to the basement. We're gonna figure out how to attach this trigger for launch mode. We're gonna start by connecting the red wire to the one side of the trigger. Screwing it into place to hold it tight. Now doing the same on the other side with the black wire. Screwing it into place to hold it still. We're gonna attach the trigger here and secure it with some tape. Using red tape because this is a rival gun after all. This 9 volt battery is what powers the trigger. So let's secure it in place with some Nerf Rival Red. The trigger is all connected and working. But every mega gun needs a shoulder strap. Time to attach this 
on the front and attaching the strap to the back side of the gun using some cable ties. Now we just need to attach the barrel and we're ready to go. Let's put some tape on to secure the barrel in place. The rival is ready. Let's go shoot it. This Nerf rival is supercharged and takes some serious air power. That was scary. Ow. Ooh. Yikes. Ow. Are you okay? My arm is like. Oh my gosh. Yikes, guys, we are in trouble. We ran into a big problem. Our Nerf rival completely exploded. I mean, so loud. Carter's arm is like probably broken. This is not good. This is not good. Oh my goodness. It's in so much pain. So I'm much really, pain. I'm really concerned. Okay, do you need any ice? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go get I don't you ice. Move. I'm afraid I'm like, it broke or something. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, guys, this is not good. This is not good. Are you okay, honey? I don't know. Which, really which arm? I kind of feel broken. What? I kind of feel broken. Yeah, I can imagine. I can hear it. Uh-oh. It was ringing. Yeah. All I found was peas for now. It's Where starting to like just, swell like in my elbow. Okay, he needs to go hospital. I can tell by the, his pain level. Oh dear. Yeah, it's broken. I can it's just broken. feel how like thick it's swelling. Oh dear. It's, I don't know if it's broken, but it's bad. Oh my gosh, guys, Carter's in so much pain, he's sweating. sweating. Oh my gosh. Look at this, they're just sweating down my face. Nerf rival gone wrong. Oh my god, it, it was, we were pumping it up ready for our first test fire, and then it just exploded, and my entire arm just felt like it was like vibrating and like electrocuting, but it wouldn't go away. And that's like when I knew something was wrong. I think what happened is it exploded out this way and it bounced off my elbow on the way. And it just wrung it. Like when you hit your funny bone kind of, but like it's, it's tense, like crazy. Oh no, did you explode my painting? Did it hit like the wall? It hit the wall. It hit the wall, it came here. This, this is the pressure cap. Carter, how much PSI was in there? So it must have not fully dried. The glue didn't dry, that's why. Oh my gosh, we're so dumb. But what I think happened is we were filling up the Nerf rival for our first test fire. We got up to PSI and shortly after it exploded in my lap. The reason why it exploded was because the PVC cement holding the pressure chamber together wasn't fully dry or we didn't put enough on. We don't know yet because we haven't quite looked at the, the gun yet, but it completely exploded in my lap shooting the cap off into my arm and shooting the rest of the gun off my lap in the other direction. Even though these Mega Nerf Blasters look fun, they are very, very dangerous. You gotta remember, we're supercharging these, so things can go really wrong as you can see right now. Carter is just still in pain. It was a very bad idea. Well, we just gotta, we just gotta take better precaution next time. We gotta make sure the glue dries completely next time. We're learning lessons as we go. This is why we say don't try this stuff at home because things can go seriously wrong. Yes, seriously wrong. Oh my gosh. I'm hoping my arm's okay, guys. I'm really hoping I don't have to go to the hospital right now. I wonder if you're bleeding underneath that. I really hope not. Can you roll the sleeve back at all? I don't want to. Oh no, if you're bleeding, we're not gonna know. Carter's feeling around. What's it feel like? Does it feel okay? I don't think there's any broken bones because I can tap it and it's, it's okay. The inside of my elbow is so tender though. Let's just say Carter is pretty familiar with broken bones. He has broken both arms at least once. How many times? Yeah. Like literally deadly accidents. One accident he had to get airlifted for. One you got rushed to the hospital in an ambulance. He's had some pretty crazy falls. So he knows, he has some tough pain tolerance and he basically at this point is a pro at knowing if he's broke any bones. Like that's pretty fair to say. Yeah, I think so. He has what, you have pins in this arm? Or this arm? No, I don't. They took the pins out. I, I had p two pins in this arm. I had two rods in this arm, but they are totally removed, so I am metal free. You're metal free for now, but uh, that might change tonight. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, there's a little blood. Uh-oh. Carter, Carter thinks he can feel some blood dripping down the arm. <sighs> Yikes. Yeah, I see some stains. Do you? I think I see some stains. We're afraid to take the sweatshirt off, so I'm just going to cut it off. We might it's ruin a good sweatshirt, but oh well. I mean, Carter's probably bleeding underneath here, so we gotta be careful. Figure out what is going on. This is, uh-oh. 
I'm afraid to find out what I'm gonna see. I feel like your arm is already swollen. I think it's definitely swollen. Yeah, it looks swollen. Yikes. Okay, now you gotta curve up towards the arm. All right. Rotate the scissors a little more. This way? Yeah. Okay. All the way up to the shoulder. All right, we're going all the way up. Oh, you're not wearing a shirt underneath. Oh, you are. Oh, hey, that's a share of the love shirt. We can't cut oh, that. Oh, we can't <laughs> cut the share of the love shirt. Okay. okay. <gasps> oh, it's so oh, small. Oh, it's big. Are you bleeding? Oh, yikes. What is that? Ew. Little bit of blood. It's a nasty little prick. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's all nasty. red. Ew. Oh, your arm is, oh, like, grossly swollen, Carter. Yeah. <gasps> your arm is so fat, actually. Whoa. Ew. Guys, this is not his muscle. This is, like, actual, like, swollenness. No, I think that's muscle. I mean, this, this is muscle. <laughs> no, no, but this is, like, the swollen No, part. no, that's muscle, too. <laughs> oh, you got totally jabbed. Oh, you arm. can see where it hit right there. Oh, nasty. Oh my gosh, it's so it hurts so bad. Yikes. Oh. oh give him a flex. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. <laughs> oh flex man. Don't the, don't flex your muscle for a couple days. You might pop something else. I'm assuming the reason Carter has blood there is because the nipple valve on this thing shot off and went straight into his arm. <laughs> I don't think the major bones in the arm, like the bone from here to here, or the two that go there to there, are broken. So I think I'm okay. But there might be some smaller bone in the elbow or some small fracture because it is still so tender. Like I don't want to touch it and it still hurts. Dr. Mom is here. Mom, what do you think? It needs to be looked at by a doctor. It really does. It needs it's to be, so it needs, tender. It needs to be x-rayed. It's so super and, tender. Yeah. But, Don't I mean, do that. It's fine. It's Who knows the bones? Comment if you know all the bones in the arm. So where did it get? Where did you get hit? It's like the the little knob that's right on the inside, right there. Oh my gosh! You could have knocked it off. <laughs> <laughs> you can't knock it off. Oh, you could have chipped it. Let's line up and see if this show them the line. line is from the cap. I'm, it's oh my it gosh! Is. It definitely hit that me right there. That cap jabbed you right there. Right there. But Wait. I don't. So maybe oh, the wait. nipple. The nipple valve hit you there and then jolted over there or something. Maybe my arm was bent more. Oh yeah, your arm, your arm was bent because it was in that position. And it hit me just like that. Hit you, oh, and yeah. the corner went right through my elbow. Oh, and then it oh, slammed it the wall. I bet you it dented the wall. Oh yeah, it dented that wall right oh, there. Oh, it took a chip out. Oh, a oh, whole Oops. chip. Oops. So guys, it's been a couple of hours. The pain has not gone away. So we are heading over to the emergency room to go get it checked out. Just got to the emergency room. Gonna have a doctor take a look at my arm. Not sure how much filming we can get in, so guys, stay tuned. We might have to continue this in the next vlog, but let's hope everything's okay. All right, Carter, let's do this. All right, here we go. We'll catch you guys next time on the next vlog, so until then, stay awesome and, and share, the, share love. the love. Ah.